Hi, it's Carmi Weininger of the Reactor Panel Salvo Company, and I'm going to show you how to find out how much real estate is available on your horse's back to carry weight. You could also think of this as the area available to saddle. So we've marked the scapula on this horse, and the horse can begin carrying your weight approximately two fingers behind the back edge of the scapula. This is one of the few places in saddle fitting that I will use fingers as a measurement. So let's mark that spot. Next, the horse has a spine, and next to the spine, spinous processes, which are the tips of the vertebral that, vertebrae that extend up from each rib. By putting your fingers on top of the spine and then coming down a finger's width, we get a sense of how much room the horse needs to accommodate the spinous processes. From the back, the horse can carry weight until the last true rib. You can feel for the rib, follow the curve up, and this would be the rearmost edge of the area available to bear weight. And at the bottom, the horse can carry your weight all over the longissimus dorsi muscles here, the large back muscles, down to the rib attachments, the place where the ribs begin to flare out, which is on this horse right here. So we now connect these shapes and we get the area available to bear your weight. On this horse, it's reasonable from front to back, and she has quite a lot of real estate, of area available from top to bottom. You'll note this approximate kidney shape is the same shape as our panels and the panels of other saddles that are anatomically designed to maximize the weight-bearing surface under the saddle.